of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Rachel Ruto, Your Excellency, the President of Ethiopia, Sahil Wakzwede, Your Excellency, the President of Zanzibar, Dr. Hussein Mwinyi, Your Excellency, Mama Maria Haman Mwinyi, the First Lady of Zanzibar, Right Honorable Rebecca Kadaga, the First Deputy Prime Minister of Uganda and ESC Minister, Your Excellency, the Vice President of Burundi, Prosper Bazobanza, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Honorable Msalia Mdavari, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, the Speaker of the Senate, Jeff Akingi, the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court, Lady Justice Mother Kome, the Chief of Defense Forces, General Ogola, Service Commanders, Cabinet Secretaries and Principal Secretaries, the leadership of the National Assembly, members of Parliament present, the Governor of Nairobi City, Johnson Sakaja, Excellencies Ambassadors, Heads of Missions and High Commissions, political and other leaders, distinguished guests, gallant Kenyans. It is a historic moment. We mark 60 years of independence today. We celebrate because our selfless fathers and mothers denied themselves the comfort of their families to birth one huge family, Kenya, a nation we are proud of. It is therefore befitting, Your Excellency, to pay, to pay homage the freedom fighters who, with crude weapons, sheer determination and resolve, defied the advanced arms of the colonialists to deliver a free Kenya. The freedom we gained in 1963 placed us in charge of our destiny, a destiny of freedom from poverty, disease, and illiteracy. Our country has made monumental progress in these fronts. Our beloved President, Dr. William Ruto, is implementing a radical plan, the Kenya Kwanzaa Plan for socio-economic transformation. For instance, in just a year, Your Excellency, you have laid a firm foundation for socio-economic transformation. In October, you put the nation on course to achieving universal health coverage. At our President's leadership, we are implementing comprehensive educational reforms through the competency-based curriculum, which we have far-reaching positive implication of our country. Your Excellency, the Fifth Administration is expanding financial inclusion to drive entrepreneurship besides undertaking fundamental reforms in the public sector, among other interventions. We are leaving no one behind in Kenya. The Kenya we want is the one the President is leaving no one behind, and that is the Kenya we all deserve. Your Excellency, we acknowledge your forward-looking leadership on regional and international matters. This is important because a stable and prosperous Africa means a better Kenya. We recognize the key role of the youth in the rebirth of Africa. This is one of the reasons that the focus of, is on youth, the creative economy, and sports. Your Excellency, it is now my duty and privilege to welcome you to address the nation. Mr. President.